citizens of the United States and the world from Flint, Michigan. Greetings Flint, the resistance has been well underway across the world. As some of you may know, Anonymous has declared war on the system, fed up with the injustice and attacks on freedom occurring across the world. Anonymous has launched a campaign to take down the very system that corrupts the idea of a free way of life. The response of the people across the world has been extremely and surprisingly supportive of the cause. It is clear there is something very wrong in this world, and the people have agreed. We present to you, Operation Unite for Cause. People of the world, allow me to once again introduce myself as Anonymous, for I am nothing more than an idea, an idea of true freedom online as well as the real life realm. The idea of swift justice in defense of such freedoms and a world free of oppression and intolerance. A world focused on living freely, rather than living according to what you can afford. While I know there are those of you out there that may argue, that if you're not happy with the money you make or the life that you have, this is simply your own fault. You must realize and acknowledge the fact that this day and age presents a vast barrier for many families and individuals. The financial constraints and limits have grown diversely in size, while opportunities have diminished. Any train of thought that dismisses this fact is, quite frankly, either selfish, or quite simply delusional. However I must also acknowledge how easy it must be to slip into such a state of apathetic illusion of reality, given the vast amounts of entertainment, poisonous food, narcotics, pollution and fluoride, atrazine, and chlorine-rich water that is pumped into today's cultures and society. It is quite easy to lose oneself in the system of things. We, like many of you, appreciate the comforts of everyday routine, the security of the familiar, the tranquility of repetition, I enjoy them as much as any individual. But in the spirit of commemoration, thereby those important events of the past, usually associated with someone's death or the end of some awful bloody struggle, a celebration of a nice holiday, we thought we could mark this July 31st, 2013, a day that normally is no different than any other, by taking some time out of our daily lives to sit down and have a little chat and enjoy the musical activism of Steve Grant. There are of course those who do not want us to speak. Undoubtedly, orders are being shouted into telephones, and men with guns and fancy technology are scouring the interwebs searching for anything related to anonymous. Why? Because while the truncheon may be used in lieu of conversation, words will always retain their power. Words offer the means to meaning, and for those who will listen, the enunciation of truth. And the truth is, there is something terribly wrong with this city. Inept and corrupted local so-called elected officials that ignore mandates from their people and operate with obvious violations of the law and conflicts of interest and absolute impunity. A judiciary that is corrupted and collusive with various local social service organizations and social programs that conspire to squeeze every dollar from the poor mainstream media that does not report news rather print stories according to their own agenda. Cruelty, violence, injustice, intolerance and oppression. And where you thought you had the freedom to object, to think and speak as you saw fit, you have the same censors and systems of surveillance that have always been there, coercing your conformity and soliciting your submission. How did this happen? Who's to blame? Well certainly, there are those, more responsible than others, and they, will be held accountable, but again truth be told, if you're looking for the guilty, you need only look into a mirror, I know why you did it, I know you were afraid, who wouldn't be, war, terror, disease, a complicated and convoluted system intentionally designed to keep you divided and subjugated, false flag attacks and conspiracies against the people, there are a myriad, of problems and excuses which conspire to corrupt your reason and rob you of your common sense. Fear gets the best of you, and in your panic you turn to your governments. They promise you order, they promise you peace, with laws like the Patriot Act and the National Defense Authorization Act. Thanks to Edward Snowden we know about United States secret surveillance programs such as PRISM. All they demand in return is your silent, obedient, consent. Anonymous is seeking to end that silence. July 31st, 2013, we initiated the beginning of a series of events we will simply refer to as Operation Unite for Cause. Operation Unite for Cause commenced upon this 31st day of July, 2013 and will continue for approximately four months in the course of five separate events. On that day, we sought to end that silence. Wednesday, July 31st, 2013, we have marked this occasion as a day of celebration of our constitutional right to assembly in Flint, Michigan. 
This day marked the beginning of a campaign to bring together citizens of the city of Flint and Michigan who wish to see real change. We will stand in solidarity with the citizens of Flint, Michigan, August 23rd, as they rally to banish Rosine in the United States. We will stand in solidarity with the citizens of Jackson, Michigan, August 13th, as they protest abuses and repression of the Michigan Medical Marijuana Act. We will again stand in solidarity with Anonymous and the world on August 31st on the International Day of Privacy Operation Big Brother to stand up against the invasion of our privacy and the destruction of the United States Constitution, to stand in solidarity with political prisoners who have done nothing more than fight for our freedoms. We will again stand in solidarity with the world as we march against Monsanto on World Food Day October 16, 2013. And finally, more than 400 years ago, a great citizen wished to embed the 5th of November forever in our memory. His hope was to remind the world that fairness, justice, and freedom are more than words, they are perspectives. So if you've seen nothing, if the crimes of this government remain unknown to you, then we would suggest that you allow this time to pass unmarked. But if you see what we see, if you feel as we feel, and if you would seek as we seek, then you too are anonymous. And we ask you to stand beside us and Steve Grant in solidarity with Anonymous at the Million Masked March on Washington, D.C., November 5th. And for those in Flint, Michigan who cannot go to Washington, D.C., stand with us in solidarity on November 8th when we add our ranks to the Million Masked March events. United as one, divided by zero. Operation Unite for Cause Initiated. The resistance is here. We are Anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.